Hello, today on ArtPro, I bring you the best AI technology for video generation to date, which is also free and can be run online. It's called Luma Labs. The videos we can create are amazing, definitely better in quality, complexity, and consistency than those from Pika Labs or Runways Gen 3. Many experts are even touting it as superior to Sora. The truth is that OpenAI has yet to allow users to test Sora and see its true capabilities and weaknesses, but the samples from Luma Labs have little to envy. In this video, I'll show you how to make videos for free using this tool. It's very simple and effective. We'll explore its features and test it with different styles and themes to see just how far we can go. For now, I insist, it's the best AI available for video generation accessible to everyone. Let's get started. First, go to the Luma Labs website. It's lumalabs.ai. I'll leave the link in the video description below. On the homepage, we can see samples of the most successful videos. They look very good at first glance. And if we want to create our own, we simply need to sign up on the site. As I said, it's free, so we should take advantage while it lasts. It's as simple as clicking this button at the top left. We can log in directly with our Google account. The first time we enter, we only see this. A text box for prompts and a suggested idea below. If we click it, it moves to our prompt box. If we don't like it, we can click this little arrow to generate another random idea. This one, for example. And if we click here, it starts generating the video. After about four minutes, here's the clip. Each video lasts four seconds, which means it takes a minute per generated second. Here we can see the background C, the storm, a somewhat unstable camera movement, and the image of the girl isn't bad. But besides some slight facial distortion, what stands out most is the overly agitated hair despite the storm. But well, it's a particularly complex image with superimposed water droplets, head movement, blinks, and especially noteworthy is that the face doesn't transform. It's just a first test, but we'll see that it can be much improved. How? By providing a reference image. This way, we guide the scene, character, and aesthetics much more concretely. We just need to click this icon here. Upload an image we're interested in, like this one. This was generated with mid-journey. And here, we'll give a very brief description of the scene. For example, alien with a laptop. Let's see how it turns out. And here's the result. Not bad at all. I particularly like the character and the lighting of the environment. The alien, despite the change of angle, remains consistent. And above all, the numerous background elements which in other AIs start to distort and become completely implausible. Let's see what happens if instead of a 3D image, we upload one with a digital illustration look. In this case, this was generated with Leonardo AI. I describe the scene as a beautiful girl swimming in a pond with water lilies. And after four minutes, here's the absolutely spectacular result. In very little time, we have an animation that, traditionally done, could take days. The subtle expression of the character, the head movement, the relationship between the different background elements, and even the water ripples are realistic. In this case, the only flaw I see is in the girl's reflection on the surface, but that's not due to Luma Labs, but the original image, which we can see, was already defective. So before passing our images to Luma, for video conversion, I recommend correcting all these small errors with any image editing software or application. We've seen a few on this channel. As I said, the result is amazing, don't you think? Let's look at other examples. In this case, I provided an image of a traffic accident seen from above, and we can see how, despite the camera rotation, the elements remain consistent. They don't change shape, even those that weren't well-defined in the original image, like these here. 
Although it only generates four seconds of video, it's possible to provide images from different angles to then compile an animation short if we want. Here, for example, using the same scene description of the accident, I just changed the prompt for the shot. I uploaded it to Luma Labs to animate, and it was going very well until suddenly a sideways motorcyclist appeared. Sometimes it doesn't stick 100% to the scene and gets creative. That's the case with this bunker interior, for instance. It keeps generating new rooms, but at some point it adds a somewhat deformed figure. But like with other AI video generators, it's as simple as regenerating the video. Using the same image, it redid the immersive animation without intruders this time. Let's continue. In this image, I focused on the neon lights, and I particularly like how it adapts to the face's volumes in this case. When the head tilts, the lighting effects are believable, even in subtle details like the reflections on the cheek's glitter. Lighting and such effects were quite complicated to animate with AI until now, as were more than one character. So, I tested Luma Labs with this image. Two different people in different planes, and not only does it animate them correctly, but it also zooms in while maintaining the consistency of all elements. This is one of my recurring images to test AI video generators, and until now, it never turned out well. Two people in different planes usually pose a challenge. But in this case, Luma not only handles one character, but sometimes, without being asked, adds another in its creative pursuit. I also tested it with outdoor scenes. And as you can see, it looks spectacular, even in complex scenes, with many small elements like this one. And then I tried a panoramic scene like this, and it's not bad compared to other generators, but the background buildings lose a bit of definition and consistency. Nevertheless, the smoke and fire simulation is quite good. But on this channel, we don't do cherry picking. We're here to show both successes and weaknesses, and one of the Achilles heels of all AI at the start is hands. I provided this very clear and sharp image, and in a few seconds, it completely distorted it. This one, a bit more complex with two hands, one robotic and one human, maintains the shape quite well, but as it moves away, it changes style entirely. Sometimes, as I said, it's a matter of trying multiple times. This one, for example, turned out particularly well. And the most confusing but fascinating animation for me is this one here. It's a scene of a medieval battlefield, and the AI does something quite strange with the warrior. It suddenly makes him collapse, the sword disappears, then there's something quite confusing and gory with the hand that seems to explode or melt. He pushes the other soldier and then faints. For me, these four seconds of error are somewhat hypnotic. And here I tried a simpler scene to make it easier for the AI. And although it started well, it suddenly, as we said, gets creative and changes the shot entirely. But these are more anecdotal issues that we can often correct simply by regenerating the video. And overall, the results compared to other AIs are magnificent. And considering the application has just been launched, we can imagine that in a few weeks, these kinds of errors will no longer occur. In this case, the character generated in Stable Diffusion has three hands, but the animation is still impeccable, almost cinematic. I particularly like that it respects and sticks to the original image, unlike others like Gen 3 or Pika Labs, which reinterpret that first frame. Finally, here we have another image with a digital illustration appearance. The original reference already had small flaws in the faces, but in the animation, Luma Labs itself corrects the imperfections as it zooms in. In short, AI video generation has taken quite a while to evolve, but it seems that the process is accelerating with applications like this one, or Sora, which we have yet to see how it really performs. Let's see when OpenAI makes it available to everyone. Of course, when that happens, we'll be here to tell you about it. For now, I recommend using Luma while it's still free. Many companies don't take long to start charging for everything. In the case of Luma Labs, even though it's free, 
There is a limit of 30 videos per month, which seems quite enough to me. If you want to generate more, there are different plans. Standard, Pro, and Premiere. And now I just need to explain how to download the videos. To access the history of all the videos we have generated, we go here to My Videos. We choose one, like this one for example, and click on Direct Link. From here, we can right-click, Save As, and save it wherever we want on our computer. That's all. If you find this or any other content on the channel interesting or useful, you can subscribe and leave me a like. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.